Good morning, everybody. Today I am going to propagate more of my citronella plant. This is the plant here. Um, I overwinterized it from uh, last year. It is a, basically an annual plant. It doesn't fare well in the cold weather, so if your temperature gets down to freezing, um, they will need to come in. They will die back, but if you mulch it really good, it could still stay. So I would say zone 8 and above, it could stay outdoor and you can mulch it. 7, I am in, I guarded in zone 7B, so I had to bring it in. I had a couple that I did leave outside and they died back completely. So this one is sending out some good new growth and shoots you can see. So I'm just going to go in, take a couple of shooting, shooting, take a couple of shoots, put it in this um, plastic container. This is a strawberry, I mean a grape container. Uh, not that it matters what kind of grape it is, but I got this container at Sam's Club. So I'm reusing it. Put in some um, soil in here, well-drained soil, so whatever medium you want to use depending on your area. My area gets really hot and humid, so I put mulch in here to help incorporate the drainage. Basically, I just go in, take a cutting from any of them. I try not to take it all the way at the base. I take it at a node so that it could still send out some new shootings. Some new shoots sorry I don't know why I keep saying shooting uh, so that it can send out some new shoots so here is a youngling one so what I'm gonna do is just strip this and this is where root will grow is from the node so I'm gonna just strip it and you know you can use your hand or you can use your pruning shears so I'm just gonna use my hands so basically get it so that I can stick this all the way into the soil where it's going to send roots for me and then whoops and then the top I'm just going to snip some of the leaves leave just a little bit of the leaves so that it can still do its thing and that's basically it so I just use this And then stick it in the soil. Make sure my face is not in the camera. And then I go around and get a couple more. Here's another strong looking one. So again, just cut it so that this one might be a little bit too short should have cut it a little bit deeper but I find that they root fairly easily and this plant smells really good so whether they actually thwart, thwart off mosquitoes or not the smell in itself is a like a cit uh, citrus spray that you would use to clean or spray around the house to give you some fresh scent I'm just going to stick that in the medium and then basically just let it root. So when you have one plant you can turn it into multiple plants and that's generally what I do. I just buy one plant and then I try to propagate so I have more since I I don't have the budget to buy as many plants as I want, which could be a good thing because I would buy every single plant at a nursery. So I'm just going to remove this one as well, just keeping this small amount, sticking it into the soil, and then letting it root. Now you can just leave one or two to grow in here and it'll send up more shoots. I tend not to use the whole thing since I still want to have the mother plant still be good. Okay, there we go. Here's another one. Just 
sticking that into the soil. And then let's do maybe one more. So you do kind of butcher the mother plant when you do this, but they're very vigorous, so they will grow back. I'm gonna cut that one and cut this one off. So now in this one I have one, two, three, and it's sending up new growth. Apparently the weeds must have loved this pot because I've got, boy can I grow weed. Not the kind you smoke, this kind of weed. <laughs> so basically on this one I have still one, two, three, four, four of them that will still grow. Now if you um, go in and tip prune it, it's gonna send out more shoots for you. So mother plants looks a little bit um, scantily as opposed to how she was before I took out some shootings. But she is doing okay. And then she'll con continue to send out new shoots for me. So, so I have five new plants that I'm going to propagate in here. I'm going to water it in. And then this one, I'm going to enclose it, the dome, so it'll give some humidity to help with the root process. But you don't really need it. Again, like I said, this area I'm in is so humid, it doesn't really need it. But it's kind of nice to have this plastic container that helps keep the moisture in if you need it. But it's got holes that can vent out as well so it doesn't get too hot in there. Repurposing is really um, a great thing, especially if you shop at Costco and they put all these plastic containers out. So that is it for the propagation of the citronol, you guys. I hope this helps and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.